Hi guys, today we are going to do another Harry Potter tea list character. And if last one was very weird, but this time it's going to be completely normal. Drum roll, please. We are going to be doing a Harry Potter Quidditch tier list. Let us start off with Harry. We also added three additional ones like Cormac, Oliver Wood, and Tushan. Harry Potter obviously is Quidditch head boy. I can say this because he has won the snitch many, many times and he was the youngest seeker. And that is truly withstanding. Next is Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy, we did not see that much of his Quidditchness because in the third year he was just going to be watching Quidditch. As you can see in one of his scenes, in third year he was watching a Quidditch match and for with Harry Potter and it was very, very, very subtle. So Draco. Only got to we only got to see a bit of Draco's Quidditch in the first and second year, so I'll put him as a normal Quidditch player. Fred Weasley. Fred Weasley is a funny character, and not only that, but he was like a chaser or something, and he was a very very good friend to Harry. So I'll put him as a great Quidditch player. Next, we. I am going to have Ronald Weasley. That's what Hermione calls him. Anyways, Ron is a very, very good goalkeeper, but I'm not just going to put him in a Quidditch goalkeeper. It's just a uh, expression. So we're going to put him in a normal Quidditch player. Next coming, Hermione, the nerd. We never ever got to see as much as her in Quidditch, but she is very good and she always watched the matches for Harry and Ron and even helped Ronald Weasley himself, aka Ron, defeat Cormac and Half-Blood Prince using that spell. I don't remember it, but I'm going to put Hermione as a normal Quidditch player, even though she does not play. Next, coming up with Luna. We never ever saw any of Luna, so we'll put her in a Quidditch goalkeeper. Next, Neville Longbottom. I saw a bit of his Quidditch, I think, over the years, and he defeated Nagini, the Voldemort snake pet, but that is not ever related to this, so we'll put him at a Quidditch goalkeeper. Next, coming with the top four, Jenny or Jenerva Molly Weasley. Jenny here was a very, very good Quidditch head girl in the Half-Blood Prince as he, she said, Shut it! <laughs> I can't impress it, but she said shut it in Harry's defense to get all the Quidditch players lined up in half the prince. And she was a head boy, literally, or a head girl, so I put her in that. Next, Cormac McLaggen. Cormac McLaggen was doing good even without our money spill on him. So, Cormac is going to be a normal Quidditch player. Oliver Wood. Oliver Wood introduced the youngest seeker to Harry Potter's now career being a Quidditch head boy. And he was a head boy Quidditch, so I'll put him in a great Quidditch player. Lastly, Cho Chang. I put this for the last because I hate her. She, in the books, almost caught the snitch, but Ginny Weasley went and grabbed the snitch just, be be just behind her. And then she was very, very sad and cried in the common room all day long. And that turned Harry to move into a relationship with Ginny and not only that Ginny also dumped that guy Thomas because Harry brushed Ginny's hair under the invisibility cloak in the books but that does not matter because I'm putting Cho Chang and can't even block a goal so that is it for our videos I'm very very sorry for not uploading for like four months but thank you for all watching my videos 500 views on the go I cannot wait 
please make please subscribe to me a lot because I want to reach at least a hundred subscribers by the end of Ramadan. I hope you guys can do it, and I also do Ramadan vlogs on my Tasty Vlogs channel. So stay tuned. And this is this is the Potterhead of everyone, aka Tasty Dev. Out.